Okay guys, uh, let's talk a little bit about using this normal curve to identify the probability or the quantity of data that falls between any two given values. Remember that this horizontal or um, x-axis of the curve is nothing more than the number line. Um, and that means, remember we talked about the empirical rule that it goes to positive infinity, ooh, that's terrible looking, but all the way to negative infinity. All we're doing is just using the number line that with 20 at the center and then however far down or up we go depending upon the distance or our highest and lowest values in the curve. So remembering that back from our empirical rule, let's see how we approach this. Um, we got a population with a mean of 20 and a standard deviation of 4. So the first thing that we need to do is if we're going to deal with the value of 25, we need to convert 25 into a z-score, which we've done here with that pretty simple formula where we just take x, the value that we're interested in, subtract it from the mean. We're going to express it in terms of standard deviation, in this case 4, to give us 1.25. So the question is, what does 1.25 represent? 1.25 is actually the number or the quantity of standard deviations that 25 will fall from the mean. So we're looking probably somewhere about there for where 25 is located. All right, so if we say that 25 falls somewhere right about here. What we've calculated is that the distance from the mean to that value is 1.25 standard deviations. So now we need to figure out what proportion of our what proportion of our population falls between 20 and 25. In other words, what they're simply asking us is how much of our data falls right there in that area of the curve. In order to determine that, we're going to go back and use that z-score of 1.25 and the table that is in the very back of your textbook. Okay, so what I've got, this is a, a table that I have on my computer, but it's not, it's the exact same information that's on your in the back of your book is we know that this table always gives us the area between zero or in this case the mean so it always gives us the air distance between the mean and our calculated z-score so what we need to do is we know that in that problem we just worked that our z-score was 1.25 so use the column to determine find the first two digits 1.2 and then use the row up here to find the 0.05 because that gives us 1.25 come down where the two intersect and we get 0.3944 so now that we've calculated that z-score it tells us that the z equals 0.3944 or 39.44 so what that is simply telling us is that 39.44% of our data falls between the mean and our x value of 25, which we located right here. Because in the total of this curve, on the total side of this curve, we know that this area right here contains 50% of the data. And we know that this area right here contains the other 50% of the data. So now the question asks us, whoop, sorry about that guys. Um, now the question asks us, what proportion of the population is less than 18? So anytime that I get this X value, I automatically go over here and I just convert 18 
our number of interest into a z-score and in this case I get a negative 0 0.50. Well don't you all remember from the normal curve um, way back in the other chapter that this is always the positive side of the curve this is the negative side of the curve so now what we know is that we are looking for the area of the curve that falls negative 0 0.50 all right, so we have point negative 0 0.50 from the mean so we've got a number of 20 <clears throat> and we're going to put our X or our 18 here except this time <clears throat> there is a difference because it wants to know how much is less than 18. So the area of the curve that I'm looking for is this area right here. The z-score of negative 0 0.50 gives us the area between z and the mean. So how do we figure out how much is here? Well, we go back to our normal distribution table and we find 0 0.50. So there's the 0 0.5 and there, there's the 0 0.0. So we're simply going to come down in the, in the chart and we're going to find the area where 0.5 and 0 intersect and we're going to come up with 0.1915. Alright, so now that we know that the z-score is 0.1915, the other thing that we know is that that 0.1915 refers to this area right here in yellow because the table gives us the distance between the z-score and the mean except in this case we want to know what is the, what proportion of the population is less than 18 so remember I said before that we wanted this area right here how do you calculate it well we already know that this entire side of the curve this half of the curve right here contains 0 0.50. Well, if I know if I know that this area right here is 0.1915 and I also know that the entire half of this curve on this side is equal to 0 0.50 in order to isolate the, the area that's right here all I have to do is subtract so now what I have is I know that in this portion right here I have 19.15 percent I know that the total area right here is 50 percent so now what I know is that the 50 percent minus 0.1915 tells me that 0.3085 or 30.85 percent of my data is going to fall below this value of 18. Alright guys, this one wasn't great, but I hope it did the trick, and I'll see you soon.